I really want to lose the 50-50 and get Bialu. Because I need a healer. It's just will Bialu. Here it is. <sighs> Give me Bialu, please. Come on, give me Pilo. Hey there, it's uh, Apple's gonna do a video here over my uh, Star Rail account after it's been what, a week, week and a half of, of playing? About a week and a half, I'd reckon. Uh, I didn't play right at launch, but pretty, pretty regularly after that. So let's just take a look at what we got here. We're Trailblaze level 41. And let's, let's just start looking. We'll start with our characters. So we'll, we'll just do left to right. We've got Pela. Uh, I don't believe we have any Eidolons. I don't, I don't think we have any Eidolons for most of our characters here. Uh, we'll start with details. She has level 60. Uh, the light cone we're using is Eyes of Prey. I, I don't really like any of my light cones I have on any of my characters, really, other than March. Uh, we'll show you that when that comes up. But uh, This is probably not the best one to use. It's what I've got, and it's what I'm using. Because it's, it's the one I have. And that's also why I haven't really taken it past 60 yet, because I, I don't know if this is one I want to stay for a while and I don't really want to waste my resources and that's that's how it is for most of my light cone usage uh, I haven't really looked up any guides yet I probably will uh, eventually start doing that uh, I just haven't really hit anything that's caused me too much trouble and so I've just kind of been trying to enjoy the game and then eventually I'll start looking up guides and, and doing doing what's best to, to progress and things like that but so far I, I don't think I'm high enough level to really deal with that uh just now hitting 40 is when i'm starting to show that uh maybe i should check a guide because my resources aren't aren't infinite so that's that's kind of where we're at uh i tried to just get as far as i can without looking anything up really i even wandered around the whole map and found all the boxes and everything without using a guide uh let's see traces I think that's only one. We're, we're at level four on most of these. Level three there. Uh, we did unlock this for the ten percent effect hit rate. Still working on it on a bit here. I've been mainly focusing on uh, getting these resources for the traces upgrades. Relic wise, uh, nothing good yet. Uh, I, I it's been a, been a bit since I've looked at her. She's still got. Uh, level four gear on so i'll probably she'll probably be the next one i gear out i think the others have uh, better gear on right now i haven't really done a lot of relic farming which is why there's not a whole lot and again no eidolons for her stat wise we're at uh, so yeah not not great gear on, on her right now uh my main damage dealer is is for the most part going to be uh gonna be hook and clara uh for hook i've gotten one piece of uh tier five uh, relics it's hp which is it isn't great uh, i upgraded it mainly to get the uh one of the things that i had to level relics past level 12 and that's that's probably why i leveled that up and that's why the rest of it isn't leveled all that much Again, she's mainly got health gear on, I believe. A little bit of attack, a little defense. Not not really the best for her. Uh, I, oh, I do have one idol on for her. Enhanced skills deal 20% increased damage. Uh, Trace-wise, I've got it mostly maxed out here for, for my level. Still got these and, and one more on all of this. And her light cone, Wolf Walk Time. Uh, she's really the only one I think would be worth putting this on. I don't really have... Like, I, I don't really like any of my uh, light cones, to be honest. Yeah, I've, I've used most of them up there. And then next, we're moving to March. Originally, oh well, yeah, 
Well, there's, we'll get to that. Again, 60 HP. Uh, defensive gear is mainly what I think I've been putting on her, relic-wise. Again, not great. I am using defense since she has, uh, has her shield based on her defense. I got one, one idol on. I think her tracers are mostly maxed out for my level as well. And my second five star I've gotten on this account was the moment of victory uh, Gepard's light cone. So I, I tossed it on her. And it, I think this is the only light cone I have at 60 right now. Because it's the only one I'm, I'm for sure keeping that I like. You know, increase wearer's defense 24%, effect hit rate 24%. That's kind of perfect for March. Uh, when the wearer is attacked, increase their defense an extra 24% until the end of the turn. And March's uh, ability for her shield is based on her defense. Yep, 45% of her defense plus 475 for three turns. And I think I upgraded that to an extra turn. I don't know if that counts the... I don't know if that was two turns and now three, or if it's four turns because of that. I don't know. And, yeah, not not great gear. Defensive set. I mean, that's still blue there. I, I haven't looked for relics all that much on most characters. I think Clara's the only one with decent relics. Uh, Clara, my first five-star. She's the, the one I got from the beginner warp, the, the guaranteed. And she's she's my main main uh, unit here. She is 60. And gear wise, let's look at her relics. She's the only one I've really put any kind of uh, relic farm. I didn't even farm that much for it. I just I needed the relics to level up for the plus 12 uh, achievement thing, or not achievement, but the deal that you turn in and, and get some resources out of. So I. Uh, just farmed up her a little, in a little bit here. I think it's mainly uh, health gear on that. Yeah, that that one's attack, not bad. Attack, HP, physical damage. So again, not not super great. And I did uh, get that, but effect hit rate is kind of garbage for her, as far as I can tell. So I just left her with the the purple one because you know crit rate I figured was better. Uh, trace wise, again, I just recently hit forty, so that's that's why I'm still working on on the traces here. Got most of it filled out, and obviously no idolons there. Then we do have the MC. I did take her to 60, and she's still got a 50 light cone. I don't even know if this is that great of a light cone for her, but it gave uh, gives her some shield if she gets hit and, and a little bit more defensive. She's basically a secondary tank. I'd put her in, uh, in place of Pela occasionally, depending on what we're doing. Uh, and actually, there's for one of the, the Echoes of War actually take take uh, Clara out and put the MC in. Uh, Trace-wise, got most of it upgraded. Relics, not great. And we're up to three items. I can actually probably buy the next two. I should probably do that. Oop. And then... I haven't really worked on a second team yet. Uh, I got Tinyun, Tinyin, Tinyuin, I think it is. To 50, uh, not great light cone, a little bit of trace upgrades, garbage relics, and yeah, no no idolons. And again, I haven't really done anything with the the second team. I I just never use her that much. I probably should build her up since she can uh, probably support in place of uh, Pela in certain situations, especially if I need need uh, electric damage or something. And then I built, built, uh, built, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that correctly, uh, King Q. That's, that's wrong, I'm sure. But I built her mainly because she's, she's quantum. I don't have a quantum unit right now. But, again, I, you know, once, once I started seeing how much resources are being used up, I kind of hesitated to 
bring bring any more units up to 60 right now. I uh, just got seriousness of breakfast, a uh, couple traces, not too much, garbage relics, and nothing else there. And I think Serval's the last one I've leveled up at all. She got her to 50 mainly because I was doing something that needed uh, lightning damage. And so Serval served that purpose for a time. Uh, but I haven't really needed her since. I haven't done any traces with her. Also got serious of breakfast. breakfast. Uh, some garbage relics. These are all, all the relics these have that are leveled up were on the other characters at some point. You know, just that's why they've probably got levels on them. Because I haven't really done much with them. I do have two for uh, for her. Just not sure who I want to build up next. It's probably going to be Tinuine here. And then I started with Su Shang. So she did get... Okay, I did take her to 40. I did run her for a bit, but as soon as I got Clara, I kind of replaced her. Because they were both physical and, and Clara was was better. Uh, I hear she's a pretty good single target uh, physical. But again, with Clara, I haven't really needed that. So I haven't haven't really done much with her. Uh, she's got just a, a random light comb, probably. Not much on the traces. Some rando relics. And I think that's the only one I've built up. I used her a little bit. She wasn't that great. Dan Hang, I only used at the start of the game. Asta, I thought about building. But I had Hook, so I didn't really need the fire damage. Uh, I do do hear she's great at breaking uh, fire damage, so I, I almost built her at one point, but I wound up liking Hook's single target more. So that's that's the reason I never built Asta. Uh, so, someday I might, might build her up if there's a situation that I, I need. I do like that she would give speed, but again, I just haven't needed that, especially with the MC also being fire. So, if she was a different element other than fire or ice, I probably would have built her. Yeah, if she was wind, I absolutely would have built her. Probably would have built her at lightning. Uh, I already have too many ice and fire units. And physical, maybe. Maybe as a physical support. But if she was wind, quantum, or lightning, I probably would have used her. And then I did get Arlen a couple days ago, but I have no use for him. And then, of course, I'm sure this is stupid to not have used Natasha at all, but I don't like her looks. The little thing around her neck, just I can't. I don't like it. Looks like a piss jar, and it just doesn't sit right with me. So I, I never built her, which sucks because she is a healer. And I do need a healer pretty bad. So that was... It's stupid not to do, but I just... I just every time I see it, it just... I just see the little, little thing around her neck and it just looks so stupid to me. So I just kind of don't want her. Now, if they ever come out with a skin that I can get, because I am free to play, so if there's a way to get it without paying money and it makes that go away, I'd probably build her. Because I... I do desperately need a healer. I just never wanted to build her. So I didn't. And the game's not crazy hard, at least where I'm at. So I haven't really had the need. And I'm sure they'll come out with some units eventually to uh, to be healers. Or, or a skin that makes me more inclined to use her. But as she is, I just I didn't feel like doing it. So I didn't. So that are all my units. That is all my units. Uh, my main team is going to be Pela, Hook, uh, March 7th, and then Clara. I actually wasn't using March 7th at first. But once I got Clara, I needed some way to, since I didn't have a healer, to uh, let Clara, when she's taunting everybody, to not just get face rolled. So that's, that's when I started using March 7th, and then... Uh, my second five star I got was was moment of victory. I got that a couple couple days ago, I think. <laughs> Sorry. 
So this is fairly recent that I got this. And it, it makes her shield pretty beefy. And so without a healer, let's see what all I've managed to do. Got this. So I have completed one through six on the simulated universe. Uh, we'll go look at the, the store. I heard a store and, and check that out in a minute. Yeah, I guess we can do that now. So as you can see, one through six, I know uh, I need to just now started doing uh, two. I haven't actually ran any any on level two yet. So we'll see how far I'm able to get there. Uh, ability tree, not too far. Maybe a third? Oh, maybe half. Maybe half on that. 18 activated. I haven't done too much uh, simulated world. I do have fun there. I do like that mode, though. But I, I was busy completing the story, then trying to level to 40. So I'm probably going to run this more now that I've, I've hit level 40. And uh, the rewards are actually worth getting. Uh, Index-wise... Oh, I can just see it there. 120 of 154, 31 of 45 curios, all all the aeons. What else do we have here? Uh, the Echoes of War. So I don't have any trouble on uh, on the first one, Destructions of the Beginning. That one's that one's no problem with with my main team. Now, the end of Eternal Freeze, I don't use Clara because I, I don't have... I need the fire damage, so I end up using the MC instead of Clara. And this comes down to the wire. I usually lose two of my units, and it's the... It's usually Clara... Or not Clara, but it's usually the MC and... Uh, or not the MC. It's... I try to keep Hook alive, and then I try to keep March alive. Because March can... If it's just two people, March's shields are usually enough to tank everything. And Hook being fire damage can finish things off. So that, that one that one comes down to the wire. But no trouble on the destructions at the beginning. Then let's go check out the Forgotten Hall. So I've three-starred everything all the way up until 11. I think that's when we start using two teams. Yeah. Yeah, once we once we started doing two teams, I've not been able to to complete uh, in in enough time. And I I've tried thirteen a couple times, but I haven't been able to do it. To do, I really need to max out a second team in order to continue this. And so that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. I can the first part is actually no trouble because I I've got plenty of fire and ice. When we get down here to just have a fire and quantum, I don't have. Well, I guess that'd be that might be a reason to build Asta. Maybe I can take her to forty or fifty. Yeah, it'd probably have to be fifty. Then maybe I can break with uh, Asta on this team, with uh, King Chi King Chu. I have trouble with that name. I had to look it up again. For the quantum and fire. Uh, ultimately, I probably just need to take these units to 60 in order to do that. Like, Serval just gets... She does plenty of damage. She actually chunked the damage on this guy, but she got one shot. So this actually completed without much issue with just uh, March, Pela, and I believe the MC. No, I put I put uh, Clara with uh, March. They they were actually on the second one. So I actually think Hook was up here. I think it's Hook, the MC, and Pela that did this one. And Serval actually did a chunk of damage, but she died immediately after. But so so I I guess I am stuck right here, but mainly because I just need to level up my units. I could probably complete all of this without a healer if they're if my units are just leveled up and then I know it, it does go into the second uh, tier 
which I probably will have a lot of trouble with without a healer. So I don't expect to get too far in this. This isn't as fun as the simulated world, though. So I'm, I know it's rewards and all, but I'm not too worried about it. And what else do we have here? Um, let me check our achievements. Six gold, 29 silver, 118 bronze, 153 total. I haven't really been achievement hunting. I've just been playing the game and they, they unlock as they unlock. Oh, we can check the the map. I've got all maxed out on, on every map here. Now, this probably has some puzzles I can go do since they reset, I believe. i do that here after this video. Yeah, yeah, I got some daily puzzles I need to go do, so I'll probably do that here shortly on this one. There's actually quite a bit of daily puzzles, dang. I actually completed all, all of these maps yesterday, so I haven't been doing the daily puzzles until yesterday would have been the day I've done them all, but everything is maxed out here. And I do have a bunch of stuff to go buy here. I believe I can buy a couple more of the uh, Shadows of Preservation. But that's basically my account. I guess we can check my warps. You know, I only have two five stars. I have, I've got plenty of juice and 23. I uh, haven't really rolled on this at all. And on this, I've done 92. I believe I was at... 80, 78 or 79 when I got uh, I got Geppard's Light Cone. Yeah, I got Geppard's Light Cone. I really want Bilo since I need a healer pretty badly. And I do have five warps. I guess I'll do that here in a second. I haven't looked at this in a couple days. I wouldn't mind having uh, Clara's Light Cone. That would be nice. And again, I... Didn't really want Sela. I know she's a, a really good unit. She has Quantum, so it's not the end of the world if I did get her. I'd rather save my my stuff for for another unit that I actually really want, especially when I guess Palin and Hook are good to get, but I, I have no desire to use Natasha, so I haven't really felt the need to roll on this. Uh, honestly, if I did roll on this, I'd want to lose the 50-50 and then get get a Bailu. That, that'd be the best case scenario. Uh, 16, 977, 16,977. Uh, that should be enough, I think. It's definitely enough to guarantee what is Pity? I think Pity's 90? Or 80? I think it's 80 on the light cone. And then 90 for, for the game here. Let's see how much that is. And I don't really want the next unit, uh, Lucha, that's coming out next. I, I have no need for him, even though he is also a healer. He's he's another healer I don't like the look of, so I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I, I know that's that's stupid, but yeah, I just I don't want to I don't want to use him, so I'm not. Let's see, sixteen thousand divided by what is it, one sixty? So that's 106 plus 23. So that's almost enough to guarantee a sealy or a seal. And I guess I think the uh, if I did lose the 50/50, it carries over, and then the next banner I would be guaranteed the the main unit, the banner unit. I think. I think that's how that works. Let me look that up real quick. If so, it might be worth rolling. The only unit I've seen that's that's coming out, that's not out yet, that I really want, would be Silver Wolf. I would definitely want to roll on Silver Wolf. Let's see.
I know pity carries over. So I think that's how that works. If I lose the 50-50 here, the next time I, I roll, I would be guaranteed the banner unit. Max pity is 90. Gradually increases after 73. Okay, so if I lose the 50-50, it's guaranteed promotional unit next. So, I guess Hook and, and Pala wouldn't be bad to have. And if I do end up getting Seelie, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I could build her as a quantum unit. She's massive damage. I just haven't really needed single target yet, but I guess for that part, she's probably better than, than, than King Chu. Hmm. All right, you guys talk me into it. I'll I'll roll for one five star on the main banner here. <laughs> uh. Oh, I I guess I do need light cones. I just feels like a waste to roll four light cones. You know, it seems like a waste, especially because I did get a five star light cone from the regular warp. So I, I can roll for Seelie and actually roll and hopefully not get Seelie and best case scenario, get Bailu. Let's see where my pity is on this. So it gradually increases after 70. So we go to 70 and then we single pool until we get a five star. Let's see, five. I think I did one 10 pool. Right at the start of the game. Yeah, that's where I got sushiing. Right at the end of last month. So it's been it's been a couple of weeks. So five, ten, eleven. So I'm at eleven. So I did one 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 pull. It throws all this math off. So I'll do five ten pulls. And then we just single pull from there until we get a five star. And and hopefully we lose the 50-50, get Bailu, and then we're guaranteed for the next banner unit we roll on. Which would be perfect. And I'll hopefully have enough for a guaranteed banner unit. And if it's Silver Wolf, perfect. Or, uh, Probably Silver Wolf if, if that comes out. Or we'll see see what it ends up being. I mean, if they have a guaranteed healer that doesn't look stupid, I, I should definitely go for that. All right, we'll we'll do these first. We got five. We'll do five sing singles here. Meditation. Shattered home. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, that's probably how I'll get Claire's light cone. Is, is just buy it, save up my my uh, star juice here. Two more. Hey, what is that? Go look at this light cone here in a minute. Let me just go look at those. When the wearer hits an enemy, and if the enemy is not already ensnared, then there is a 60% base chance to ensnare the hit enemy. Ensnared enemy's defense decreases 12% for a turn. Okay. And that is Nihility. That might actually be good for Pela. 
the tell me what ensnare does. Is just is it just a defense decrease? If so, that actually works perfect with Pela. Since she's already decreasing uh defense. That's the main reason I have her. Effect hit rate and dot yeah. Okay. We'll switch to that. I'm gonna come back and actually level it up. Cool. That actually might be might work pretty good on her. Probably take it to fifty and then and see how it goes for a bit, if I even can. What's that one do? Twelve speed, I guess that go for Asta. She's kind of a speed buffer. Yeah. So I probably will level this one up. That looks like it'd be pretty good on her. And honestly, I guess I, I should just look it up. I should just start looking it up. My resources are getting kind of low. So I'll, I'll just look up and see if this is a good one for uh, Pela here. But I think it will be. Another defense decrease. That's mainly what I use her for is decreasing a boss's defense. And then let's, let's go to the, the big one here. So we'll do five ten pulls. And then we single pull until a five star. And we just get Bilo. We just get Bailu. Give me a hook or a Pela. Guess we'll look at all the, uh, uh Natasha. Gross. Oh, that was a failed one. Hook or Pela? Genius's Repose. Okay. We'll take a look at that. I can see it from here. We'll minus 20 on that. Keep track of that. It's three more 10 pulls than singles. Your addition. Let's see. Each now has a role to play. Increases. What? Increases the wearer's attack 60% when the wearer defeats an enemy. Increases crit 24% for three turns. Eh. Probably not going to use that on anybody. The thing is, on, on stuff that gets an increase when you defeat units, I never really have a trouble defeating the small units. It's I need boss damage for the most part. Alright. Three more tin pools. Ugh, I hate spending that. Hook or Pela? Hook or Pela? Hey, there's a hook. One hook. Two more temples. Sixteen hundred down the drain. Hook or Pela, please. Another hook. I'll take it. We'll actually do... We'll do one more temple after this. And then singles until five star. Give me a hook or Pela. Sure. 
Shared feelings. What's that do? Path of Abundance. I don't have any of those. Increase the words. Outgoing healing by 10% when using skill. Well, I guess I can throw that on the Bailu I'm about to get. That'd be nice. All right, last ten pull. Give me a hook or pala to finish it off on the ten pulls. Ah, uh, we lose. Damn. All right, and let's see where we're at. So five, ten. What? Uh, I guess the record doesn't update. Anyway, should be getting pretty close. We just do single pulls until until we get it. So that puts us at 70 pulls, I think. So we did six and already done one. And yeah, so so we're actually at 71 pulls. Hey, there's a Pela. I'll take it. Oh no, I'm gonna drop below 10,000. Feels bad, man. Really want to lose the 50 50 and get Bialu. Because I need a healer. It's just Will Bialu. Here it is. <sighs> Give me Bialu, please. Come on. Give me Bialu. Branya. Uh, I guess she's fine. I did lose the 50-50. I guess a normal person would keep rolling for the guaranteed Sealy and have Branya Sealy. But I'm not worried about it. I don't even know if I want to build Branya. Let's look at her kit real quick. We are guaranteed now for the next the next banner. So that's good. What would I use Branya for? Uh, what does she do? Spells a debuffs. She kind of does the same thing. My Pale is... No, no, Pale is on the, the enemy. March is the one that dispels a debuff. See so yeah, how that was to immediately take action. And increases their damage 33%. Oh, that's why she works so good with Zila. She lets them go immediately. Okay. I guess I can use that with Hook. Look, Hook. Attack more. What's her... 10% more damage. Next action will advance forward. Damage... 
Start of the battle, all allies. Defense increase 20% for two turns. I guess I could use her with March to increase March's shields. Crit rate for basic attack. I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't know if I need another support because I've got, got Pale already. Oh yeah, I guess I was working on her traces last. I might wait on that. Let's activate her Eidolons. Pele defeats the enemy, regenerate five energy. That's not that great. She's not really a, a defeated enemy kind of person. But hook, I think we got a few hooks, two hooks. Extend the duration of burn, all right. And, ooh, okay, plus two to max of 15. Plus one to max of 10, cool. Skill and basic attack, nice. Oh, that'd be nice. This one more is really good on, on hook. That'd be nice too. 20% more damage, dang, all the hooks is really good. I could single pull until I get all the hook. Eh. No, let's not do that. Let's not let's not get into that wormhole and waste all my juice. Let's see, Pela's. Especially because we might end up getting Natasha's. What do we get? Two Natasha's? I mean, she's a good healer. Doesn't look the part to me. I don't like the way she looks. That's all there is to it. If I can get a skid for her, I guess I guess I could download a skin. Nah, I'm not gonna do that though. Too much work. I'd rather just stick to the in-game units. But hook got some power. Not bad. We got a Branya. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Branya yet. But we did fail the 50-50. So we're guaranteed Banner unit next time there's a Banner unit we want. So that's my account. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Tell me how stupid I am for not going for my guaranteed Sealy right now. Although I don't think I have enough juice to guarantee a Sealy. I think the biggest stupid thing is not building Natasha when I don't have a healer. Let's see. Yeah, the warps. 967 so hard pity is 90 but it increases after 70 so 9 6 2 7 divided by 160 so that's 60 we'd be almost to the 70% increased chance so we'll just we'll just hold off I don't really need a Sealy all that bad. I'll probably build Branya since she is a five star. She can advance. She probably I can make use of her somewhere. Squeeze her into one of the second teams or something, or use her situationally. We'll figure something out to do with her. And we got some juice for our pot, our hook, and then one for Pela couple Natasha's I'll never use and we'll just hold off from there the the next unit I really want would be probably silver wolf so we'll we'll just hopefully have enough to guarantee a silver wolf banner which six seven eight so we need 30 pulls how much is 30 So 4,800 to guarantee the next unit. That's not too bad. There's quite a bit of stuff left for me to do. Got achievements and I've got some other stuff to do. Uh, is that the industrial guide? Done the dailies. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's the last one. That'd be 100. And I know there's the 
not the simulated universe, but the, the Hall of Forgotten, that's still got quite a bit. If I can three-star the rest of those, I think they're 120 apiece or something like that. Let me go look real quick. Let's take a look. Yes, please. Let's look at the rewards. Oh, they're 200 a pop. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's three thousand right there just in, in these. I probably can't get all of it, but I can get some of it. So I'll probably build the Branya and use her on one of these teams. Probably be the way to go. I'll probably look up some guides for, for Brian and, and try to build her decently. Oh, and then the... Uh, the light cones that I got. I'll level that. I need to remember to level that up. Let's go ahead and take it up right now. <laughs> that's, that's the problem is I don't have any light cone juice. Probably gonna cap out here. So that'd be the biggest issue with this. Probably can't quite get it to 40. I need to go farm that anyway. So light cone power is, is honestly my that's the where I was noticing I'm I'm having some trouble when I was trying to level light cones, especially when I got that five star light cone for for March and ended up using all my uh Light cone leveling power. Uh, what was the other light cones I just got? When the wearer breaks an enemy's weakness, restore HP 12% of their max HP. That's not bad, but it's on it's on defense. I don't really need it on defense. I actually was using this one on March for a while. That's why it's 50. I guess I can use that as as fodder for some unit. That actually kept March alive quite a bit. Uh, I guess if Branya's defense, maybe I can put something on her. We're more likely to attack, but damage take is reduced. I wish light cones weren't locked to classes. Cause some of these I'd really like to use on different different classes. Like if I could uh, put this on. Put the, I'd honestly put the healing one on all of my units, to, to be honest, since I don't have a healer. Uh, let's see, where's the other new ones? Yeah, right here. Attack 16%, three turns. Increase the wear's outgoing healing 10%. Okay. Crit rate 12%. Basic attack and skill damage. Speed. Yeah, nothing nothing great. Generates two energy for all allies. I can guess Clara's skill gets used a lot, but she didn't really have outgoing healing. Oh, that's the wrong class anyway, never mind. That's nice. Harmony? I don't know if I have any harmony units. I have to look through these and see if I want to switch any units over to that. Although I can't really afford it. I gotta do that, that's right. Anyway, you know. Tell me down in the comments how stupid I am for not getting Seely and, and not leveling Natasha. Let me know what you think. That's my account after uh, started playing the end of last month, right when I think a day or two after the game came out. Until now, so that's, that's where I'm at. What is it? Uh, Trailblazer 41. And I still got quite a bit of that stuff. The, what do you call it? Yeah, I still got a little bit of trouble as a power deal. I'm not gonna use any any of the, the stellar jade for 
for that. I'm going to save that up and hopefully be able to guarantee a silver with when she comes out. Y'all have a good one.